stuck because you just want to cut the text out of your background, but you have no idea where to start, by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at cutting text out of any background you want. And if you're serious about growing an online business, be sure to stick around all the way till the end of the video and I'll share with you how I add 600 new email subscribers to my list every single month without spending a dime. For the best online tech hacks for bloggers and small business owners, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out when I upload a brand new video every Wednesday. I'm Kate Murray, and after spending 14 years in corporate and agency marketing, I decided it was time to ditch the corporate life so that I could help small business owners, just like you, use the same tactics that digital agencies use. A few prerequisites before we get started. I will be demonstrating how to do this for free on a Mac using the free version of Canva. However, if you are using a PC, you can also get this done by using Adobe Photoshop. And if you don't have a subscription to Adobe Photoshop, you can sign up for a free trial. That way you can still get it done right now today. I will demonstrate how to do it both ways on Canva and on Photoshop. Let's get started with the free version using Canva. Step one, go to canva.com and create yourself a free account. Once you're inside the Canva dashboard, you can either search for a design in a specific size, or you can type in what you're looking for. For this example, I'm going to create a square post for Instagram. Don't worry about the background at this point. The first thing I'm going to do here is type in some text, choose the font, and then change the font size to make it bigger. Choose a font that you like and you will eliminate the background and download a PNG file. PNG means that there's no background in your file. With a JPEG, you'll see the white box around it, but with a PNG, there's no background. Step three, double click your downloaded file to open it up in preview. We're going to be using the magic wand selection tool to highlight all of the text. Simply highlight and delete each letter. Step four, save this file as a PNG and upload it to Canva. Step five, select the background that you wanna use from the Canva templates or you can upload your own background. Then you're going to place the new PNG file on top of the background. Step six, you're going to re-download the new file to your desktop and open it up again using preview. This time, you will select the text and then select inverse and delete the background. Once that background is eliminated, you're going to save it again with a different file name and re-upload it to Canva. As you can see, it does take a couple of steps to do it this way, but that's the trade-off for being able to do it for free. I now have my letters cut out in the background of my choice, and I can even put those against a different background. What app do you like to use to create your social media images? Let me know in the comments below. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using Photoshop. It's actually a little bit easier using Photoshop, but Photoshop can be expensive. So if you don't yet have a subscription, you can accomplish this by starting up a free trial. Step one is to open up your background image in Photoshop. Step two, add your text using whatever font you like and drag that layer under the background. Step three, be sure that your background is unlocked and then you'll create a clipping mask. Here's a pro tip. 
The clipping mask function also works in Adobe Illustrator. Save your clipping mask as a PNG file and now you'll be able to use that against any background. Now that you've got your super awesome transparent text, want to know how I add over 600 new email subscribers to my list every single month without spending a dime? The secret is to create a quiz. If you'd like to create your own quiz, click on the link in the comments below and you can start a free trial. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my best tech hacks for bloggers and small business owners. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.